What's up guys, today I want to show you how you can fix one of the biggest problems with the Google Pixel 6 lineup and that problem has to do with the fingerprint scanner. It's not the best scanner out there and some people online and myself included are not too happy with its performance. Sometimes it takes a little bit too long that you need to hold your finger on there to get into your phone. Sometimes it doesn't work too well. And given that it's our only biometric form of authentication since we don't actually have face unlock, you really wanna make sure that your fingerprint scanner works as best as it possibly can to just minimize that amount of time that it takes to get into your phone. So today I'm gonna give you three tips on how you can improve the scanner so that it starts working for you instead of against you. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into our settings, scroll down to security and look for fingerprint unlock. Now, the first time you set up your phone, it should have asked you to set up a fingerprint. So if you did that, you probably already have one profile in here. I set up my thumb because I use my phone with my right hand and it's easy for me to unlock my phone with my right thumb. But what we're actually gonna do is go to add another fingerprint and we're actually gonna add that same finger again. So we're gonna go through the whole entire process just like we did the first time. Make sure to move our finger around a couple of different ways so that the phone picks up all sorts of different patterns on our finger. So now you can see we have two separate profiles for the same finger. And what this is gonna do is just make it a lot easier for your phone to recognize your thumb because you have two separate profiles set up with your thumb in all sorts of different positions. So next time you go to unlock your phone, if you kind of try to unlock it quickly or put your thumb in a weird position, your phone should be able to recognize it because you've set up two separate profiles. So that's one way to really enhance that fingerprint unlock. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is increase the touch sensitivity of our phone. So to do that, we're gonna go to settings, go down to display and scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says increase touch sensitivity. You see there's a toggle for this and it says improves touch when using screen protectors. Now I don't have a screen protector, but I'm actually gonna enable this anyway because it's going to increase the sensitivity of our fingerprint scanner, which will actually make it unlock your phone a little bit faster. So now when we go back to our lock screen and we try to unlock our phone, it will actually be a little bit quicker because that sensitivity on that fingerprint scanner is now a little bit higher. So there you go guys, be sure to enable that if you want to improve your fingerprint sensor. It doesn't actually mess with the rest of your phone, I've been using the phone with that increased sensitivity for a few days now and everything else works just as it should. Alright guys, so the last tip is not an actual improvement to the fingerprint scanner itself, but just a quicker method to get into our phone. So when I lock my phone right now, you can see I don't have an always on display, which means my screen is just blank. There's nothing on here. There's no fingerprint scanner for me to tap. So what I have to do is actually unlock my phone by tapping on it or just hitting the power button. And now I'm presented with the fingerprint scanner and now I can scan. So you can see that takes two steps for me to unlock my phone. So what we're gonna do is actually enable an always on display so that fingerprint scanner is available to us all the time. So to do that, what we're gonna do is unlock our phone, go into settings, go down to display, tap on lock screen, and then down here, you'll see this toggle that says always show time and info. Now this is the always on display. If you toggle this, when you lock your phone, you're gonna see that it locks and then it comes up and shows us the time, date, and any notifications you have. But down here, you can see we have a fingerprint scanner. So now you can directly scan your finger from the always on display and it'll take you directly into your phone. You can see it locks and then the fingerprint scanner comes on before we would have to unlock our phone to get to this screen. But now, as you can see, that fingerprint scanner is always available for us. We can just quickly pick up our phone and unlock it. All right, guys, so those were my three tips to improve the fingerprint scanner and just speed up your phone unlocking process. But if you don't want to have to deal with the fingerprint scanner at all and you want your phone to just unlock, I actually made a separate video that I will link to where you can set up smart lock, which will allow your phone to unlock without any fingerprints or passwords as long as you're in a trusted location like your home or if you have some Bluetooth devices connected to your phone like headphones or maybe a smartwatch. It's a really cool feature that I always have enabled on my phone because I don't want to have to deal with passwords or unlocking my phone when I'm at home because I know there's nothing to hide from anybody so I can just quickly unlock my phone by swiping up and I don't have to put in my password or my fingerprint ID. So if you wanna check out that video, I'll be sure to link it in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.